Hey YouTubers, it's Tony here from We Try Anything. Channel Let's Try Anything, so you don't have to. Today what we're going to show you is how to use the Casio W214H with a module number of 3225. Now I've linked to the actual watch via Amazon if you are interested in a watch like this. And also I've linked to the instructions below for this watch which will take you off to the Casio website where you can download the PDF or the view the PDF online um, of the instructions of how to use this watch if you want, wish to read about it further. So in this quick tutorial, what we're going to talk about is what the display signifies. We're also going to show you the functions of this watch and how these buttons interact with the watch. And then finally, what I am going to show you is just a little timer function that goes on here, which is what this little dial explains. And I'll talk about that later. So first of all is the actual dial itself. Dial is very simplistic in the way it's designed. And uh, what you do have here on the main timekeeping mode is a graphic display, the seconds going up and down. So obviously every five seconds, this will go up, that will go up and then that will go down I believe and then that will go down and that that's kind of signifies every 10 seconds basically but there's no other real function for that operation and um, to the bottom left hand corner sorry to the bottom left to the bottom you have the actual main dial or the main area of the watch which signifies the information like the uh, time the alarm stopwatch and stuff like that really so on this one you have the day of the week you've got the month you've got the dates within the month and then what you have is a little p indicating pm um obviously if it's am it won't it won't appear and if it is you choose the 24 hour mode it will disappear as well and, re and the reason for that being you in this one where you have the hour marker there um it will change the in this instance it will change the 1300 hours which i'll show you in a bit that's obviously the minutes and there's the seconds just there. So it's as easy as that. And as I said, the top right hand corner is a timer indication which you can set, which I'll show you towards the end of this video. The next thing to make you aware of how to use is the light. Now the light is very easy to operate on the Casio 214, W214H and it's as easy as just pressing this button. And I believe there's a slight delay on the actual um, LED backlight which is about a minute uh, sorry a second maybe a second and a half uh, and that's what it does really and what I'll do I'll just quickly show you what it's like to move this watch to the left and show you what it's like during semi-darkness just so you can get an idea of how that backlight works right so moving the watch back across and um, the next thing we're going to talk about is the functions and how to use them now there's not many to this watch there's the as I said there's an alarm and there's a stopwatch timekeeping mode and then what you have is a time which I'll show you in a bit so the first one is the alarm mode now the alarm mode is very easy to use it's a singular alarm but it also has an hourly signal as well which you can operate which will sound the alarm or a sound a beep on the hour every hour that that alarm signal is activated now to activate the actual alarm without amending the time for the alarm to go off at you just press that what you'll notice is that you know there's a little icon that appears and that indicates that the daily alarm is activated so every every day it's half seven in the morning this alarm will go off and i believe it beeps for about 20 seconds if you want the hourly signal to turn on then you just press that and that little bell denotes the actual hourly signal on the watch will go off it will beep on the hour every hour if you want both the alarm and the hourly signal to operate you press it again and if you want them both turned off you press it again and it's off now what you will notice on the actual uh, dial when it's on the alarm function mode is that the AL stand for alarm and um, what you do have at the top here is the uh, the current time which is a nice little feature and just underneath that you have the uh, alarm setting or what time the alarm will go off if you have activated the alarm so what I'll do I'll just quickly show you how to amend the alarm so what you do you keep your finger on the reset button there and as you can see as soon as you set the reset as soon as you set the actual watch into uh, amending the actual alarm you will notice that it activates the actual daily alarm mode so if you want to set it and just turn off the alarm just so you've got it set whenever you need it just make sure you turn it off so to uh, amend the alarm so let's do it for half six in the morning so you just go through if you want to speed up the actual accelerate the actual value going up you just press it keep your finger or thumb press on the bottom right so we'll just quickly go through that again just to quickly show you and as you can see it accelerates and then to slow it down so it goes up by an increment of one you just keep pressing it there to move it forward to the minutes you just press the reset button at the top and then obviously let's do it to six o'clock in the morning so we'd like to get up nice and early and as you can see i'm just pressing it once just to 
increase the value by one and it's as easy as that so if we just stop that and let's just turn off that so it doesn't wake me up at six in the morning the next mode i'm going to talk about is stopwatch and then stopwatch is very simple it's a very start stop function really so to start the actual stopwatch as you can see it's easy as that and what you will notice obviously the graphic indicators of the hundredths of a second will be indicated here and it just speeds up you know like it as it were showing you the indication of the actual time elapsing or the stopwatch working unfortunately there's no lap time on this so it's just literally start stop to my knowledge anyway so just to stop it you press start stop again and to reset it you press reset and it is easy as that and just to read the actual dial obviously you've got SD standard for stopwatch you have the current time here and then you have the elapsed time just underneath and then the final thing to do is timekeeping mode now timekeeping mode like I've shown you with the alarm allows you to amend the time so in this instance if you want to reset the seconds while they're flashing you just press start stop if you want to move it um, on to the next indicator to flash which is the hours you just press obviously um you just press the top left hand corner which is the reset button if you want to move the actual time on if you want to adjust the time like that obviously i'm going to put it back to half one because that's what the current time is in the uk if you want to press it again to amend this minutes press it again what you'll notice is the 12 h or what was the seconds it's now changed to 12 h that refers to if you want to change it to 12 hour 24 hour so let's change it to 24 hour and as you can see that's changed to 24 h and you will notice is that the actual time has gone up to 1300 hours so basically 13 3800 hours but to pop it back you just go back to 12 h and then it'll be 1 pm so that's how to change the 12 24 hour feature of this watch to move it along to change the year uh, you change it to 2022 there um, you can change it obviously it will go up as if when you press this change the day uh, sorry to change the month you do that to change the date within the month you do that to change the day I mean obviously you can just change it like such but it is Monday the 28th that we film this on and then finally that's it to re stop it from flashing or stop it in its kind of time keeping adjust mode you just press mode again and it's as simple and as easy as that so the final thing to show you on this video is how to adjust or to how to activate the countdown alarm. Now the countdown alarm it can be done from the, just the main watch. You haven't got to go to any modes or anything like that. And it is as simple as you press the top left hand corner. Watch what happens with this dial, this part of the dial here. You will notice is that the actual value goes up. Now I don't know if my camera can show it properly. Um, but what you do have is little numbers here. And if I haven't explained them, it is one minute three minutes five minutes 10 15 20 and 30 and basically that means obviously it will count down from the minutes that you chose it won't show you the actual countdown but after a minute it will it, you will see it flashing so if i set it for a minute so after you after a minute it will beep so what i'll do i'll just quickly speed up this video just to show you um it beeping after a minute worth of time has elapsed And there you go the minutes elapsed so you can hear that's the actual countdown timer sounding that the actual time has elapsed and i believe if you press that that will cancel the actual countdown timer beep and if you want to make the lap uh, the countdown timer measure a higher value of time then obviously you just press it until it goes up to 30 minutes that'll count down 30 minutes and obviously you just press it up to the values going on here and that's as far as you can do you can only do it in segments of the actual minutes that are indicated there and that's it really that's the whole watch in a nutshell i mean if i have missed anything the instructions are below but i hope this video will help you um understand how to get proper use out of the casio w214h and if you like the tutorial video then click on the like button always helps the channel if you want to see more videos containing watches products tutorials and the like click on the subscribe button below and thank you for watching this tutorial video on the Casio W214H and we look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye.